Officials say that five houseboats were completely destroyed. Six of them have damage and 11 of them were saved. Fire crews were on scene for eight hours trying to get everything under control. And you can see the extent of the damage behind me. Just had to kind of do an emergency trip to remove the boat and uh, uh, get everything cleared out so to minimize the fire risk for all the other units. This was the fire scene last night at the Dowles Marina. Matthew Cash has a houseboat here, but lives in Salem. When he found out there was a fire at the marina, he rushed here to make sure his vacation home was safe. Firefighters say the flames started just after 7 p.m. Monday night, and when they arrived, they found multiple houseboats on fire. Luckily, Matthews was spared. There's some new boat owner, our uh, boathouse owners, and you know, I just hope that they're insured and um, my understanding is everyone's okay, so that's the most important thing. Fire Chief of Mid-Columbia Fire and Rescue Robert Palmer says there were about 60 firefighters battling this blaze. It was under control by about 4 Tuesday morning. Palmer said there was fear that the fire would spread. We did uh, end up with a fire to the east of us. Uh, we had embers that, that uh, landed in some uh, juniper bushes over on the freeway. Uh, down beyond us here, um, and so it, it basically threatened traffic on the freeway. We had to make sure that we got that knocked down. Crews were sent from Multnomah County to help. The westbound lanes of Highway 84 were briefly closed while firefighters worked to get everything under control. People who have homes in the marina are happy about the quick response. Let's make a note that the people are trying to be heroic, but let's also remember that Probably not a good idea to come down here. There is still off-gassing fire materials, things that make people sick that we're all very well aware of. So keep your distance and be respectful of the cleanup. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The state fire marshal will continue to investigate to figure that out. One of the firefighters suffered heat exhaustion and was taken to the hospital. In the Dalles, I'm Bryant Clerkley, KGW News.